The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Discipline is to make disciple of a certain principle, ideology, or if to follow a person. And this one, and this one, we be to me the abrabo adi ebi atiti ubi anase onam sobe mu ubi eduwechi. Now discipline is to make disciple of a certain principle or ideology or a person. And this one, and this one, this onam adi ebi so anase atiti ebi ni aso sem so ebi to me atiti ubi. That we discipline to achieve a purpose. Good discipline should have a goal. So you just don't discipline. You must discipline for a purpose. And I'm saying that good discipline should have a goal. So I want to submit this evening. That sometimes discipline is meant to make a disciple of a certain principle, a geology, or a person. Discipline is to make disciples of a certain principle. Of a certain ideology, certain set of doctrine or belief that guides a people. And she share an inch, a Discipline is to make a disciple of a person. Jeremiah chapter 35. We want to look at the Rakabites. Jeremiah 35. From verse 1. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. During the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josh, Josiah, king of Judah. The chassis of you may decay no, I trust them. They say, As some will fear Radi and Chang Ba, Jeremy and Chang, Judah, Hini, Yoakima, or yet you say, Ba Nebresuni. Go to the Rechabite family and invite them to come to one of the side rooms of the house of the Lord and give them wine to drink. Koraka Fono and Chang. Na and no uncle Cassa, not for one bra, a radi fee, pier, bacumu, na mawong, and sa, and num. So I went to get Jezeniah, son of Jeremiah, the son of Abazina, and his brothers, and all his sons, the whole family of the Rechabites. And I'm a coffer, a bazia ba, Yeremia ba, as a near, Nini Nianum, Ni Merman Nina, and the one rack up for fearful Nina. I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the room of the sons of Hanan, son of Igdalia, a man of God. It was next to the room of the officials, which was. Over that of Messiah, son of Shalom, the do, doorkeeper. Now me do want me ba a ready fear me call on your coupon nipa yagdala and ne hana ma pia a what ma poma pia no ho or puno anoshe for salum ba masel pia etifinumu. So we always have men of God, eh? And to bribe mu ye win yang coupon in the spider the situation, there is someone here who the Bible says man of God. And found it you basi ubi waha ye friend u nyan coupon nipa. Then I set bowls full of wine and some caps before the recabites and said to them, Drink some wine. And I made the Nkrua ah and sa ayeya no mama ne and crisis see rock up fee manu and him na me say one say mon no monsa. But they replied, 
we do not drink wine. Because our forefather, Jehonadab, son of Rechab, gave us this command. Neither you nor your descendants must ever drink wine. Na wase yari no mensa na yenge jaraka ba yonada ashe yense mu no mensa na mu mu no biara na yenu bi de biara da. Also, you must ne never build houses, sow seed or plant vineyards. You must never have any of these things, but must always live in tents. Then. You will live a long time in the land where you are nomads. Na mun sisi adain, na mun nyashe, na mun nyabu betro biara, na mun fa e bin so en yamudia, na entu madamu, na muntina, mun nenina, na mwedi nepi asasia, mu ye so aho no so. Now pay attention to the big one verse. Eight. The reason why God has asked Jeremiah to go and fetch the Rechabites and then try to give them wine. He's looking at how Israel will not just obey him. Now if human beings are even obeying human beings and they are not obeying the creator, won't he be jealous? Now verse 8. We have obeyed everything our forefather Jehonadab, son of Rechab, commanded us. Neither we, nor our wives, nor our sons and daughters have ever drank wine. Na ye tie yen e jaraka ba Jehonadab de o se yen nu nyina mu na yen Nina yen na nyina na yen nom nsa yen yen yire nom ye mabenin ene ye mamba sometimes our relationship with god we tend to take our minds of the fact that god is and that he is a person that we ought to relate with to de bia wo ye ni nyankopon ayon ko famu no ya na ya yi adwuna fu sise wo nyankopon wo ho na oyo bia esese ye ni no etumi edi enkita ho that we grieve him by this of him. Now we, we, we grieve him. Our actions pains him. Because we call him father, but we have very little disrespect for him. We don't pay attention to his instruction. We spite him. We disobey him. Sometimes before our friends, we are even shy of him. But he is the creator God. Verse 9. Or build houses to live in, or had vineyards, fields, or crops. You don't have any of this. Just because he are forebears said, don't do this. Na yen sisi adan entenemu na yen ni bo betro ni efodi ani ade a wodru wodru odua biara e sanu insisha awode ma wonti woni we no mubia. Na we have lived in tents and have fully obeyed everything our forefather Je Jehonadab commanded us. We have lived in tents and we have fully obeyed everything our forefather Jehonadab commanded us. Na ye tete ntu mademu, na ye tie, na ye ye, ya ye sedye, ye en eja, Yonadab se ye no unye na. But when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon invaded this land, we said, come, we must go to Jerusalem to escape the, Babi, the Babylonian and the Aramean armies. So we remained in Jerusalem. But when they got to Jerusalem, they will still not drink wine. They will still not have vineyards. They will still not build houses. They told themselves, we are nomads. Now, okay, kind. If you move, do me no do a kuno say, now Babel, Hine, Nebuchadnezzar, Tuba, Asasi, Swano, you can say, 
Mumra, my young Koy Jerusalem, in free cuddle, four dom, any sorry, four dom no enim. Na, ye bet na Jerusalem, no, two Koy Jerusalem, Ninano, one ninety say, two tina foa, na wood this ancient share, what the ama win so. There is this beautiful song that has been traveling from generation to generation. When we walk with the Lord, in the light of His word, what a glory He shares on our way. While we do His good will, the Almighty will abide with us forever. All we need to do is to trust and obey. For there is no other way. No other way. There is no shortcuts. To be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. Trust and obey. Trust and obey. Because our forefather said it. Even those of us who, have, who did not see him. We have stuck to his instructions. You wonder if they are not having vineyards and they are not planting crops. And they don't have houses. How would they live? But you see, they are proudly saying, we have not done that. And Jehonadab, Jehonadab has bound his descendants to a nomadic lifestyle. Free of the trappings of sedentary life or abiding in one place. And the Rakabais had been obedient. See, these rules don't drink wine, don't build houses. Don't possess vineyards, separated his descendants from the wicked Israelite society. And it is said, it preserved this family for generation to generation. Now hear me, brothers and sisters. I am not saying or suggesting that God requires such a mode of living or that parents should set rigorous laws and rules for our descendants i'm not suggesting that go and say that don't build houses don't don't owe uh, vineyards i'm not saying that but you see, God created human beings. And he left the heart to be a shrine where he will abide. But somehow in this generation, we have overthrown God from his place. And we have enthroned money and possession. We see so much value in things, houses, vineyards. This is what I have, and they don't have God. They have overthrown God from His place and enthroned possessions. That is why I'm careful to say I'm not suggesting to you. Otherwise, tonight some people will die. Tonight some people will die. Because they may be hearing that I'm saying that don't build houses. That is not the essence of the chapter. No. 
Can can some me can can no and yen but I no no. The Bible say Jehonadab gave those instructions, not it didn't come from God. Joseph said, Johanna, Johanna, and all the signs is saying, No, am I? When, when we come to him, he doesn't deny us of houses. Even where we are, we are housed. Our church buildings are, uh, we, we are housing in churches. And God desires that we, we even build a place for him. So God is not saying that don't houses or building houses is evil. But you see how they were obedient to their grandfather. It's the lesson that God wants his right to know. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah, it's not the issue in this chapter 35 of Jeremiah. Okay. However, I rather, it rather has to do with the quality of the obedience. And some of you can when you free mobile and say rock up for no abrab on the and I say, and you know, 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 and they have become his disciples. Se wo she wo ho so na wo di wo agyanom ensem so no wo aba be ye ne suafo. A people who live by certain principles. Wo aba ye ni pa wo nam enyina so sem bi so ene nante. A people who live by certain ideology. Ni pa wo nam efutuo anase nhihye ye bi agyanom de ama wo so ena entase. A follower of Jonadab. Don't drink wine. And no man Paul says it leads to debauchery. I will not take that out even in this generation. He wants them to stay focused. Don't drink wine. And no man it leads to debauchery. Don't build houses. Don't possess vineyards. You see, the spirit of this is this. Our life on this earth is transient. We shouldn't be bogged down. Because of earthly things. And since we are simon noma a chair and so we may have houses. We may plant vineyards. But you see our life here on earth. It's transient. We are always on the move. We are always on the move. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are Christians, remember that one day we'll be going home. The house that you build, the fire that you own, good though they may be, one day death will take you out of the house. But listen. Don't let these things have the throne of our heart. Let us hold light to property and money. Because even our forefather, the father of our faith, he did not do that. He lived as someone who was expecting a kingdom. But Hebrews chapter 11. From verse 8, please. Hebrews 11, verse 8. <laughs> By faith, Abraham. This one is Abraham. Abra plus ham. So when you, you when you hear Abra plus the ham, 
Then you see that the real father. Yeah. Who called, when called to go to the place he would later receive as his inheritance. Now listen. Obeyed and went even though he did not know where he was going. Gideon, our friend Abraham, no, or this city a free call, baby, a dachin, obenya hose, a japadier, na o free, a dear, na o nim de okro. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. Now, the wonderful thing about this is that he was going to a promised land. When he got there, this is the promised land. Instead of holding it with his two hands, he still lived on the land promised to him like a stranger. This is a promised land. And he lived there like a stranger in a foreign land. Not because this is a promised land. We and the the land is now for him. He lived in the land that is his. Like a stranger living in a foreign land. But even God blesses you with many things, still living them like a stranger. Remember that one day we will be going home. And from there, let us still obey our maker. He lived in tents. As did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. He lived in tents so that he lived a temporary life. Now, if you live in houses... What that means is that Abraham will not move on. If you, are, you have a tent and you want to move on, you just fold it, you carry it, and you are gone. Yes. Not just say Abraham, na bra boni yina ano otina into madem mu chesem say na oni boshe krono ara adidi for Isaac eni Jacob tina into madem mu into madem mu tina di e basa ne yedi tu tina oya no wa 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 sisa na ona okodo. For he was looking forward to a city with foundations, whose architect and a and builder is God. So the Bible is saying that not that he didn't like houses, he was expecting a better house. But here, on this part of the universe, he lived a temporary life. Shall we just bow down our heads and begin to pray? And and let let us pray, pray that we will dethrone all what we call possession. From our hearts. God may give some to us. But even if he does not give them to us. Don't think that that means we are not blessed. No. No. Let us pray that God will have our throne. Let us pray that God will have our throne. Let us pray that God will have our hearts. And understanding that this life we are just passing through. This world is not our home. This world is not our home. We are just passing through. We are just passing through. Somehow. Somehow. We are becoming too earthly minded. Too earthly minded. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blues. The angels beckon me from heaven so And I feel at home in this world anymore. This world is not.
You see, they are obedient, they so powerful. To the extent that even today we still have a fraternal organization, a friendly society founded in England in 1835 as part of the wider temperance movement to promote total abstinence from alcoholic beverage. Uko ingresi abrochire kwa uwa 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 enkwa bete bia wa shasi ya beye infia pim aha wache eni edia senu muni ya uwa tumye yu wa uwe fi insanum eni nume tete saabu they are known as independent order of recabites they are also known as sons and daughters of recabites so this fraternal organization was founded in 1835. Now it spread from England to America, Australia, and parts of the world. Of course, today many of the societies have folded up. But as of now, there are 17 tents. When we call tents, because they lived in tents, they are, they are societies, they call them tents. Now, in 1935, in Australia alone, they still actively uphold the ideas of no alcohol of alcohol free lifestyle i see the wonderful thing is this there is no break in the chain and for nearly three thousand years a living testimony of total abstinence has been upheld on earth abstinence from alcoholic Every yeah, this is a group who have called themselves sons and daughters of Like the like Jehonadab. The Apostle Paul urged his sons and daughters in the Lord to follow his example or to stick to his godly instructions. First Corinthians 4 from verse 15. First Corinthians 4 from verse 15, please. Even if you had 10,000 guardians in Christ. You did not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. So we are saying that Jonadab was the father of the Rechabites. And Paul is saying that I am also your father. Through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I have sent to you Timothy, my son, whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees. With what I teach everywhere in the church. My life agrees with what I teach. My life agrees with what I teach everywhere in the church. Look at a man, Paul. Imitate me. Timothy is so close to me. 
I will send him to you. He knows my inside out. He will let you know how my teaching and my actions go together. So by obeying my instructions, discipline yourself to obey my instructions, you will be my followers, my disciples. Now why is he so confident? And that he wants them to follow him. First Corinthians 11, 1. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Follow my example as I follow. The example of Christ. So why is urging his sons and daughters in the Lord to follow him is this. Because he is pacing after Christ. He is so, conf he is so confident that they will not miss their providential way. And that they are doing the right thing because he is pacing after Christ. So they should also pace after him. Philippians 3. From verse 17. Philippians 3 17. Are we together? Yes. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. Keep your eyes on those who live as we do. And we are no moonsuami. Keep your eyes on those who live as we do. As a confident preacher. Yeah, because we have set you a model. Keep your eyes on those who live as we do. And all those who live as he does has become his disciples. And when you keep your eyes on them and follow their your instructions, you will discipline yourself to become our disciples and by extension, a disciple of Christ. To conclude tonight, brothers and sisters, Christ has commanded us to make disciples of all people. And therefore, we need to instruct ourselves or to discipline ourselves to follow Christ. And we need to bring our children to also follow his instructions. And by so doing, we will discipline them to be disciples of Christ. I want us to read what is inscribed there. Then we will bring our message to a close. Ready, go. Let us discipline ourselves and our household in obeying the word of God to make both them and us disciples of Christ. To make them and us disciples of Christ. We have said, brothers and sisters, that discipline is to make disciples of a certain principle, an ideology, or a disciple of a person. I pray that Lord will help us. Let's set the standards clear. Let us decide how we want our kids to become. 
Let them live by principles. Let them live by godly ideologies, the word of God. And let, let it be that we, together with them, will be disciples of Jesus Christ. I want us to rise now. Let us pray. Let's remember the Rechabites. Their obedience to their father's instruction. Their total obedience. And let us check with our obedience to God. If human beings could obey fellow human beings in such a manner, how much more our obedience to the instructions of God, we need to obey God. We and our descendants. And I want you to lift your voice and begin to pray. 